High winds and heavy rains, and especially the hurricanes that plague Florida and the Gulf Coast, bring road crews into quick action. Working closely with emergency response teams and local fire and police, priorities are established and cleanup begins immediately. No matter where we live, no American is safe from the potential of devastating storms. Tornadoes in the Midwest and Mid-South, flooding from swollen rivers, hurricanes along the Gulf Coast and Florida, earthquakes and fires. Wherever you live, when emergencies strike, public works crews will be the first in and the last out. With the arrival of hurricane season, Gulf and Atlantic Coast communities prepare for flooding rain. Drainage ditches, canals, and ponds are mowed and cleared. This vehicle, an all-terrain mobile excavator, actually walks through water and over fences to clear areas that would otherwise be inaccessible to clearing crews. In final preparation, stormwater impoundment areas, ditch systems, and pump stations are inspected and ready to move and dispose of countless thousands of gallons of stormwater. Vehicles are fueled, sandbags are laid in, and critical equipment is checked and distributed. Chainsaws, safety equipment, and other items that will all be accessible in a hurry when the storm strikes. In addition, debris removal plans are reviewed so that critical streets, routes to hospitals, and evacuation shelters are identified and prioritized to be kept open. In a typical community, several field operation centers are set up in storm secure buildings. These emergency response people form the tactical headquarters for coordinating fire, police, emergency vehicles, and public works responses, and maintaining contact with the Central Emergency Operations Center, or EOC. The local police and fire chiefs and others who can order emergency assistance where it is needed the most usually staff an EOC. In today's uncertain world, emergency response personnel are also trained and prepared to react to terrorism as well as natural disasters. Responding first with the specialized and heavy equipment needed to clear the way for firefighters and police, search for survivors, and afterwards to clean up the debris. And when fires rage, it's the public works people who assist firefighters in moving brush and clearing access to get through to the blaze. Coastal EOCs also have contingency plans in the event a tsunami reaches the shoreline. Whatever or wherever the emergency, preparation, coordination, and communication are the keys to effective response by trained public works people everywhere. 